Intel announced this morning that it was acquiring Tower Semiconductor for $5. For B. To say Intel has been busy the past year with huge IDM2. Zero strategy moves would be an understatement. A mere eight days ago on February 7, the company launched a $1 billion foundry innovation fund and an accelerator program with ADA, design, and IP companies, spanning multiple leases, including x86, ARM and RISC-V. Three weeks ago on January 21, Intel announced the planting of two Ohio fabs with a commit. Like I said, the announcements are coming fast and furious. Net net I think this is a very straightforward acquisition. Intel's acquisition of Tower Semiconductor is complementary and enables IFS to become an end-to-end -end foundry, increasing its footprint and capability. I'm also wondering if Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger is setting up IFS as another spin in possibility like Mobileye and there will be more to come in the future. Please find the news below followed by my analysis and some thoughts on what if. The following are the deal highlights per the press release and Tower Semiconductor public documents to me, Intel's acquisition of Tower Semiconductor is very straightforward. When IFS announced its strategy last year, it said it wanted to be an end-to-end -end foundry serving a diverse set of needs. IFS has incredible foundry capabilities based on what Intel needs for its own silicon. It has optimized its technologies and selected bleeding and leading edge nodes to create the highest performance CPUs, GPUs, FPGAs, and so CS in the digital domains. These technologies offer extreme compute performance and high leakage. Power draw is important, but performance is more important.